I just want to say before we start this, this design is based off the tutorial by uh, Aerocraft11. I just refined it in my own way and made it possible so it can actually fly pretty well. So I don't want to take full credit, but go check out his video for his original video. But this is just my way of how I did, but it is based off the original video. So just saying that before we start. All right, you're just going to fold both sides. So one this way, the hot dog style, or wait, this is a hamburger style. I kind of forgot. So this way, make sure, because for this plane, it's really important that you crease everything really well. Make sure everything is as tight as possible. If you're not really careful for that, then it, while you're filling it uh, in the future, it's not going to do, it's not going to fly that well. One on this side. And then you're going to unfold it. Make sure it's this way, horizontally. And then you're going to... Maybe pull this half and fold it to the middle crease. Same thing on the other side. You want to take that. You want to see so then the op this open side is on the outside. So then just fold it this way, or the original, oh, oh my god, the camera keeps flying. The original crease. Bruh. <laughs> to there, we have this. So now for the wings, how we're going to start is we're going to, doesn't matter, you can do it this way or whatever. Just have a triangle and have that edge go all the way to the bottom. Make sure you have the side, we have this crease on the outside. Same thing on the other side. Any of this. Okay, now you want to take your ruler. I'm gonna be using inches. Uh, just you should just use inches to make it easier. But you want to have a little bit this side so it's a little easier. You want to have one and three fourths about here. It's easier to show. About right there, three fourths, or to that forty-eight. And then you want to go up at about a half. You can do a little more, well, more, more than half. You don't have to be super precise here. And then here, slightly less than half, I would say three fourths of and half of half. You know, I, you can kind of guess here, just, I'm just show you. It doesn't have to be super precise. This is just the angle of the wings. So it just doesn't have to matter that much. You're gonna use your ruler and put it against those two points and you're gonna fold your paper. You get a really nice precise fold. Take the ruler out, and you really want to crease this one. So it should shouldn't be perfectly straight. This should be slightly bending forwards. Same thing on the other side. Just like that. And now, you want to take your pencil. You want to mark exactly half for of this length from here to here should be exactly half and you want to fold it from here, this point all the way from the edge so this should hold on this is kind of hard to explain but this edge should go all the way here right so yeah just to that very end corner this is a little slightly harder to fold but just get that there Fold it, and then this should go all the way to the end, just like that. I'm gonna crease that nice and well. So there. Yeah, it should be from this halfway point all the way to this top. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now we have this. Okay, now you want to go from flip upside down, fold these back. 
and you see this, you want to unfold this. This is where you want to use your razor blade. You can use scissors, but it does get a little easier if you just use a razor blade. So you want to cut this side, but only to that crease, not any further than that. So do that for both sides. Again, you can use scissors if you want, it's just easier with a razor blade. Lift that up. Now we have this. You wanna basically just fold it back to where it was, and now flip it over and bend it like this. And then you want to take this, take this corner and fold it and have this line match up with this crease. This crease right here, you want to align it with that. Perfectly aligned. You do that with both sides again. So we have this. This will be for our, this will be for our tail. Take that. Now, just fold everything back to how it was before. Just basically just repeat what you did. And now we have this. Now here you want to take your ruler again. Say about an inch. Yeah, about an inch. About an inch, mark it there. Do the same thing for the other side. Again, you don't have to be super precise. Just has to be, just has to be symmetrical. It's about, about an inch or less, inch or less, no more than an inch though. And then what you wanna do is you want make sure, since this is kinda of bent, sorta of weird, make sure you have a ruler and you wanna make this completely straight. So when you're cutting this, make sure it's completely straight because you don't want this crease line to you because this crease is bending the wrong way. See that? So take your scissors, just make sure it's not falling. It's not parallel with that crease. Just like that. Same thing with this side. Now you can fold these parts down, and what you want to do, instead of just folding them to hide them, uh, mark your pencil to right where it ends, about here, because we're going to need these pieces. About right there on the other side. Bake those pieces off and don't throw away these pieces yet because we'll still need them. Just put those aside, and now it should align with the bottom, like that. Okay. Now for this part, I did forget to I did forget to mention, but you you will need um like a template of some sorts. Uh, how I would do this is that you would take your ruler, right, and you measure from this this side where, from where we just cut, and measure it from the top to about say like right here some of the end of here uh and then what you can use you can use an ipad and basically zoom in and then measure it and like you have a like some sort of picture of the top of the wings and make sure it's the wings when they're facing out not like in like this you want it to be face it out like that take your ipad or something or yeah pr you probably need an ipad and then have um, a paper on top, and then after you measure it, you just trace one half of the plane, and that should give you this. But if you don't want to do that, or you don't have an iPad, um, you can try your best to just kind of, I'll trace it and show you guys, you can try your best 
just try to match it. It's going to be hard, but uh, it doesn't matter too much if you mess it up. It's just it will look a little wonky, but just having a template will help you be keeping both sides symmetrical. So I'm going to have from this point to this point, and we're going to trace it. And also when you have a template, you can just, you can make a bunch of these then, because I, I already have... So I'll show you guys that it should look like that. You can try your best if you don't have a template. Try to match that as best you can. I'm gonna do the other side. Now it should look like this. Okay, for here you want to do is that so from this point to this point there's a point here from where the wing ends meet the body you want to uh, kind of cut it so where it's at an angle this will be folded under to kind of give the body some structural integrity so you want to fold it doesn't have to be perfect but kind of in between from I um, I would say from this point to this point is the best choice this crease to this point to that point and then kind of cut that across that line that and then flip it under and now you want to fold that until you see the edge of the outline you're going to fold it down and now once you folded that make sure you give it a good crease there's another crease here from where we folded it twice of the wing you want to have another fold here just along that line just along that line We're going to do the same for the other side. But also, if you want to, you can kind of cut it here a little bit. doesn't really matter. Just to get rid of that extra point from the template. But you don't have to. And then you can cut it over. Fold it until you barely see that template, and then fold it twice to get that second crease. So you should get something like that. Now, you want to take this and you want to cut that off. Cut off right against that line. Do that for both sides. It'll be a little easier if you do it from the top. Now, I want to save these. One of these is going to be for the wing, one of these is going to be for the head. Like for this. Okay. Now you have this. And it should be open like this. It should have multiple sides. And when you fold it down, it should align perfectly with the body. Now you want to take your glue stick. It is really important since the plane is really small, you have to be really mindful how much glue you're adding to each side because a little too much on one side is basically going to cause it to be unstable. So that's the thing with having it this small. So that's why for some parts you might want to add some tape. I would say, I would say for this part mainly you could add tape, but if you don't want to because tape does add a lot more weight, uh, you could just be very careful as how much glue you're adding to each side. So if you have it perfect, this it can go really far. So you want to you want to glue each side. Only one side, don't do both sides, because it's going to add more, too much glue. That side, one stroke here, 
from there, glue it there, and then glue it to the bottom. So you shut up that. You do the same thing for your one side. One side. And then oh, glue it one time. Just like that. So that should align pretty good. So now it looks like that. Uh, now for here, just like we did for the body, you're gonna flip it over. You're gonna fold this just until you see, barely see that that edge for the wing. So you're gonna fold it across that line. You see right there. It's like that. So add some structure for the wing. And you do that for both sides. Just like that. Now take your glue stick again. This, since we cut it, this also has two open folds. You're gonna glue this top just so then you can glue it to this top side so it doesn't open up. And then close that flap. So we have that. And do that for both sides. Do good crease. So now cut this just basically kind of trace out this wing just do these edges for now don't do the inside yet because we have that tail flap and we don't want to cut that so it should look like that and I'll see here this is this part is in between both of these wings right so if you when you're cutting you have to make sure you're not cutting this you want to make sure you're going over So here, uh, I did trace it, but you want to see this line, you just want to go straight straight up from there, from the end. And I'll explain why later. So you yeah, just straight up from there. Make sure you don't cut the bottom thing. I did accidentally cut it here, but it should be fine. Okay, just like that. Now you want to take your template again, or just draw it yourself. Now you don't want it to perfectly match, so you don't want it to be like that. You want to take it, align it, move it just a little bit. I would say like one fourth of an inch or, so, or even less, just like that. The reason for that is for this one, uh, because I am going to show you two versions. One is going to be that actually has a proper wing switch, and one that is kind of folded, tucked into itself. Uh, this one, when it's tucked like this, the wings aren't fully extended when you fold it in, so usually these wings will be further back, so that's why you have to move the tail slightly in. So just trace that again. So you should have that. And then do the same thing for the other side. Align it, move it like one fourth of an inch or less. Choose it again. Just like that. So it should look that. 
Now what you want to do is basically, um, since I did accidentally cut along here, I'm just, don't, don't do this because I, I, I just accidentally cut it here. I'm just going to glue this part back down. So you can skip this part. Okay. So we have that. So you're basically, just from the back, you're going to cut it. Just match that template. Like that. And then do the same thing for the other side. Now for here, since this part does go under, you want to cut to about this line, but then don't cut any further than that. So cut along that line where it meets the end of that wing, but don't cut any further than that. There. Now you want to take both sides, these open flaps, you want to cut, you want to glue it. So that's so then these wings can stay together. Now you want to flip it over. See, you want to cut right, see where that ends, that paper. Oh. You want to cut it right along that line. Like, just like that. So it should be a pretty clean cut right across from there. Same thing for the other side. Oh, I might just do it from this side. Okay, now for these, for the tail, this is the only time you're going to need a separate piece of paper. If I have a new piece of paper, this is just for the tail, you're not going to need that much paper. But take your ruler, want to measure from this bottom, uh, let's say about, do an inch, do about an inch. Inch, and then... For height, make it about, do about three and a half, three and a half. You're going to need two of these for the tail, so now you want to cut that out. What you want to do now is that you fold it in half and then you want to take the top that's not from this the folded part and you want to fold it not all the way just leave a little bit on the top to make it look like the wing it's like that and then you're gonna fold it this way the sides so now since you have this, you're gonna take your glue. No, oh, glue. Glue and fold this flap, put it down. So there, this wing is pretty much completed. And fold it, and now when we put it here with the airplane, I'm gonna tuck it right underneath. But it's a little too long. Uh, that's what I was saying, kind of about. So just. It doesn't really matter how big this flat just made. Just you want it to fit underneath. So that's why you don't want to glue that part. And boom. It should fit perfectly like that. See how nice that fits? Just like that. So you wanna glue put glue on both sides. One here, one at the bottom. And put it in. Just 
It's like that. So it doesn't really matter how big that flap is, it just says it has to be small enough to fit. Like that. And now you just want to do another one on the other side. So now you should have this. It matches up pretty nice with the wing and ends perfectly there. So it should look like that. Now for here, these flaps we cut earlier, you want to take that and you want to glue this whole entire edge, basically. This entire edge. So down here, not, not the wing though, but just that edge in both sides. Let me fold this now. It should stay together like that. And you're going to fold that down. And I want to hold this for a few seconds so it just so it dries. Now I'm just going to cut this part off because it is kind of going too deep, Actually, but it doesn't really matter. Since these parts do have extra flaps, you can glue them if you want. Yeah, actually, you should, you should glue them. So it should look like so only the middle's open. Now for this top half, you're gonna wanna do you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna kinda you kinda you don't wanna make it too straight, but slightly round. So like straight and then kinda curves there. So the uh this wings we cut off earlier you can slide it in. So I'm gonna just kinda from about here and just go to here. Make it a little smoother. So we should have something like that. And now you're gonna take the pieces, the original one of those pieces you had from the wing earlier. And uh, I think it's like this, yeah. You're gonna cut it this way fold it in so uh this is you know it's up to you how you want it to look kind of you can adjust it how you like want mine to look a little more narrow than usual i'm just kind of cut it this way and make it slightly round so it should look like that so yeah you have the you have the head so what you want to do is that, you're not going to glue that in yet, but you're going to glue this entire middle side. Make sure you get every surface. And then, before you close it, slide in your head or the cockpit. should look like that so now everything flows you want to hold this because there's a lot of resistance hold this for you know say a couple seconds so see now we have a very nice looking head the middle side's still kind of open so that's where we kind of like glue the final side so just glue the edges don't use the like liquid glue it's gonna add way too much weight so just the tip of the edges and that should honestly be enough to just close it you don't want it to be too sharp but you don't want it to be just loose everything is dry you should have something that looks like this nice and tight at the top and at the bottom so yeah, like that. And now for the final step, you're gonna take these wings and you have, you're gonna cut a fold a line from this point to that point. So you want exactly those points. So fold it that way. Just like that. Now you're gonna wanna fold it back. And what you want is that you want this edge of the wing to align with line with your tail there just like that so it should align with the tail just like the real plane you wanna 
preset pretty well. My hands are pretty sticky actually. It's like that, and then you want to do the same thing for the other side. Now for the tricky part, you want to unfold this. And then see this crease at the end, you want to pull that out. Just the bottom layer though. Oh my god, I completely forgot. <laughs> Wait, you see, um, hold on. Before we do that, just really, really quick so we can actually fold the wings. You see this middle part? I'm going to take that. You're going to want to cut the edge. Oh, sorry, I didn't mention this earlier. But you want to cut the edge just a little bit, just like that. And you want to take this and fold it to the inside. Just fold it to the inside so it's out of the way of the wing. And do the same thing for the other side. So it should be like that. Now back to step we're talking about. Let me show you again, because I kind of messed up on there. So take this side, and you're just gonna take it in like that, see? That easy. And now, you finish that, you have, your F14 is finally finished. So it does like, really nice from side from the top especially from the top but you can also take this fold it out same thing the other side now you have the extended wing version it's like that it is a little bumpy here it's just going to be bumpy from the wing so i do prefer it just like this when you fold it in but it's pretty fun to play around with you can just fold it back and forth like do like that um, but it's kind of crazy because this this does actually fly. Um, I'll show you a quick video of if it's swept. It does like glide pretty far, but I'm gonna do a test flight right now. So that's just a video. Um, I, it, it, it's really cool to see how both modes kind of work differently. See when it's like this, it does fly much faster, but kind of glides a little shorter when it's extended like this. It glides way longer as the video I just showed you. Yeah, so thank you for watching.